Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, so what do we have for you today? We've got a gorgeous pen. Now this pen was spotted by an eagle-eyed viewer of mine when I actually did my last pen haul video. There's something a little bit special about this pen, which we'll show you in a moment. But uh, what we've got for you here, nice and simple, is a Blackbird self-filler fountain pen. The model is a BB260. If I show you the the end of the, the barrel there, you'll hopefully see the BB2-60 to the end, end of the barrel there. So that's the model number. If we keep on with the the barrel, there's a barrel imprint, as it says, Blackbird Self Filler, maybe Todd and Company, made in England. It's got a lovely clear barrel, and one thing you'll notice as well, it's got this lovely sort of chasing pattern running through the pen there. So a gorgeous pen, as I say, it was spotted by a customer. Um, the size of this pen capped 124 millimeters capped around the barrel. It's a nice sort of 11.5 millimeters in diameter. You can see it's a lever fill fountain pen. It's got nickel, nickel trim, i.e. The, the lever there is nickel. And if we take you up to the cap, you can see it's got the nickel blackbird clip to the top there and this is what we term as the ball clip from that particular period and there to the top there you can see the blackbird logo as it said on the barrel imprint these pens were made by maybe todd and company um in my opinion superb pens excellent pens for everyday writers now the bb2 sort of series of pens if you like I think they made numerous different models of the BB2 series of pens which were actually different coloured marbled pens this particular one the BB260 they made two variants this one with the clip and they also made I think it was a slightly longer version of a BB260 which was actually clipless without a clip so they made two variants of them as I say beautiful pens as you can see this one um, by request of the customer has been fully restored fully cleaned internally it's all been disassembled new sack in it um, let's take the cap off which is an unscrew screw off cap there you go so you can see it's in beautiful condition and it's ready to go, ready to go to the customer. One of the things I didn't mention, if I show you to the very top of the cap there, you can see it has Blackbird to the very top of the cap there. Because if we then come to the section and show you the section, you'll also see the section also has Blackbird written to the bottom of the section. Now, the thing, well, the section you can see is a standard sort of swan Blackbird section. But the thing that sort of caught the eye of the customer is this. Let me keep it nice and still. Let's give the pen, sorry, not the pen, the camera a chance to focus. So we've got a Blackbird, maybe Todd and Company made in England, 14 karat gold nib. But take a look at the tip there. Yep, yeah, it's got a lovely broad, yeah, I think it's a stub, a stub nib. Very unusual, very sought after, and this particular customer likes unusual nibs. So I'm sure he's going to be more than happy with this one. There's a sideways view. There's the feed underneath. As always, everything has been cleaned. We've also got, if I just get the right angle for you, you can see it's also got Blackbird written 
written on the feed underneath and again you can see this lovely stub nib there so it's got a lovely stub rib sorry stub nib <laughs> how does it write right so what we'll do I'll actually just give it a little bit of a fill so let's dip the the nib and the section in the ink there you go lots of bubbling going on it's only for a writing sample so let's do it nice and quickly let's bring on our pad and let's see how this stunning nib writes so what we've got is we've got a little bit of uh, ink on there let's just give that a dab so what we've got is a a blackbird blackbird cell filler and as we said this one is the BB to dash 60. Incidentally I know the 60 there relates to it being black hard rubber yeah that's the thing I'm not mentioned it's a black hard rubber pen this one and the date of it is from the 1930s maybe sort of I, I believe maybe around about maybe 1933 but the 1930s It's writing absolutely lovely, lovely and smooth. And there you go, look at that. A whopping big broad line on the downward stroke, fine line on the cross stroke. And there we have it. So there you see. It's got a lovely variation in line, as we said, writing with a broad stub nib. Absolutely gorgeous, a lovely smooth writer, lovely indeed. So I'm sure the customer's going to be more than happy with a pen. So what we'll do, once off the once we finish the video, we'll swill it out and get it ready to be sent to the customer. A stunning Blackbird cell filler BB260 in this black hard rubber with this lovely chase pattern, nickel trim, beautiful, beautiful pen. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you. Leave a comment below, don't be shy. Give the video, just press that thumbs up there, give it a thumbs up, that little, there, just, just below give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well don't forget and don't forget people please stay safe but for now I'll just say bye bye for now <laughs>